What's up, this is Vincenzi, and today we're gonna to learn how to calculate your daily protein intake. So to start off, what is protein? Protein is the basic building block of your body. You need protein to repair and rebuild cells and to ensure proper growth and development. So what happens when you don't eat enough? When you don't get enough protein, your body begins to break down your muscles and eventually your organs to get the protein it needs to sustain life. Not eating enough protein will also lead to a delayed recovery time. What happens when you have too much protein? When you overconsume protein, your body stores the excess as fat. Overconsumption of protein also causes your liver and kidneys to work extra hard, which over time can damage them. Where do you get protein from? Animal sources, lean meat, dairy, and eggs. Non-animal sources, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, and some grains. How to calculate your daily protein intake. This is dependent on your individual needs, depending on how much you train and what you do. First, convert your body weight into kilograms by dividing your weight in pounds by 2.2. From here, multiply your body weight by the number that best fits you. For the average adult, you would need 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram body weight. For an adult athlete, you would need more. For endurance training, 1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein per kilogram body weight. For strength and power athletes, take 1.2 to 1.7 grams protein per kilogram body weight. If you don't know where to start, you can use the least amount and slowly build up to the amount that your body needs. Protein misconceptions. Misconception number one, protein is a good source of energy. In order for your body to turn protein into energy, your body has to work extra hard. Your primary source of energy is in carbohydrates and your secondary source is in fats. Misconception number two, consuming more protein means building more muscle. Your body is unable to store protein. So once it gets all the protein that it needs, it stores the rest as fat. Misconception number three, using a high protein and low carbohydrate diet is a great way to lose weight. When you underconsume carbohydrates, your body goes into a state of ketosis, which is your body building up ketones due to metabolizing too much fat as energy. Why is this bad? When there's too much buildup of ketones in your body, it leads to a worsened condition of ketoacidosis. This changes your blood pH to a more acidic state, which can lead to a coma or death. So in conclusion, make sure you guys eat a well-balanced diet with a plate that consists of one half fruits and vegetables, one fourth protein, and one fourth grain. Hope you guys enjoy, and you guys have a great day.